Today we'll look at an easy way to customize your default DV menu without spending hours creating your menu from scratch. Let's first create some pages by going to Pages in the WordPress admin area and clicking on Add New. Create a Home page, Contact Us page, About Us page, and a Services page. Click on Appearance then Menus to create the menu. Click inside Menu Name and give your menu a name. Click on Save Menu to save your menu and then click on Select All on the left and click on Add to Menu to add your pages to the menu you just created, then on Save Menu to save your changes. Click on DV Theme Options and upload a logo. You can also choose if you want the navigation fixed by either enabling or disabling the switch next to it. I will choose Enabled for this tutorial. That's it, your menu is up and running, all we have to do now is to customize it a little. Customizing the DV menu is easy. All you have to do is click on DV in the WordPress admin area and then on Theme Customization. Click on Header Navigation once you're in the customizer. Then click on the primary menu bar. Change the text size to 18, letter spacing to 1 and font to Poppins. Change the font to uppercase and font color to black RGB 0, 0, 0, 0 0.81 and background color to orange hash E 09900 or any color of your choice and click on publish once you're finished. Let's use a little bit of CSS to add a call to action button to the DD menu. A call to action is great for successful conversion. You use it to highlight the most important elements you want your users to see. Open the WordPress dashboard and click on Appearance, then Menus. First thing we need to do is to click on Screen Options in the upper right corner of your dashboard. And then click CSS Classes to enable the CSS Classes option in your menu. Close the Screen Options when you're done. We don't need to create a new menu item for the next few steps. What's left now is to change Contact Us into a button. Open the Contact Us menu item and add my underscore menu underscore CTA in the CSS classes field and then save the menu. Next open Theme Customizer again and click on Additional CSS or you can also add the CSS and the DV theme options. I find these two places ideal because you don't have to add extra plugins. You can now add the following CSS to create a call to action button. You can find the code in the blog post, link is in the description. That's it you've got a beautiful call to action with an icon that stands out in your menu bar. You can additionally customize your call to action by changing the background color, border radius, font style, and icon to whatever you like by changing or adding new values. You can for example add a border radius of 20 pixels to change the border radius. One other thing you can do is to go to the elegant themes icon list and search for the icon you want to use. This is the fastest way you can get up and running with your menu. Again, it takes a lot of time to design a website. It's your brand, what your users associate you with, but sometimes you just want to add as much content as you want before you invest your time in the design phase of your website, and this is where the DV defaults are powerful. You can then after time use the DV theme builder to create a customized menu for your WordPress website. Download our meta blog child theme to get you up and running as fast as possible. The link is in the description below. I always say that content is king for a blog and everything else is secondary. You need to get started as fast as possible. Like and subscribe if this video helped out. Till next time, bye.